like they might they say they'll like like back and forth instead of like just twitch so i don't know i guess twitch has to do something Yeah. Well, that's why Max was when I was watching Max. He's like his two most valuable subscriptions are like YouTube Premium and like Twitch Turbo. Even that's too much to me. <laughs> One minute per hour? If I don't get to choose when that when that happens, I don't want to put any ads on my uh, stream. They have like eight ads. Yeah, they're like eight ads. It's crazy. Eight ads for like a minute each. It's like watching... And to be fair, I I don't really care about the 70-30 cut for big big streamers because I mean I don't really care about most of the big streamers. Them going from 70-30 to 50-50 is like alright. YouTube is 70-30 for everyone though. Twitch was 50-50 for the guys making less than hundred K. Which is weird. I kind of wish they would do 70-30 for everyone. You know, and not just the people who make a lot of money. <sighs> um, but yeah, YouTube just seems like the one, one, like... Just go to YouTube. Everyone already watches everything on YouTube. The only problem with YouTube is that it... it you, People do not know how to get to like watching live streams on YouTube. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to get the live streams on YouTube. It's sometimes very rarely it recommends me like live stream. No, nah, I never recommended me though. Maybe like near the beginning, but I always all oh, for you. <laughs> for me, uh, yeah, no. Nah. It tried to recommend me VTuber videos, and every time I would be like, right click, do not recommend. And now I get no more VTuber videos recommended to me. Which is dying. To be honest, I could just probably start streaming straight from YouTube. Not like my viewer count will go down very much. <laughs> Not like my viewer count will drop very substantially or anything. Um, and I don't have ads. VOD? Oh, someone on Twitch? Zon is in my chat and he says he's not following me on YouTube. I got no Eris emotes. Well, crud. I need to get some. I need to really actually just start about thinking about emotes because I want funny emotes too. You're tired of emotes? I really want to put funny emotes. Oh, absolutely. I don't like... I... Yeah, I can... I guess that's the thing when I think about it is like these subscribe... Like, you know, on Twitch, they got a subscription and it's like you get emotes. 
And it feels like if you send someone to another chat and they just start spamming their emotes, they're like, hey, free advertising. I guess I kind I kind of don't like it when you it's like that. I kind of just want to like if it can be kept to the purest form where I just have dumb emotes and people like spamming dumb emotes. Yeah, all right. Really? You can't use wow. So on YouTube, if you subscribe to someone, you can only use their email. Well, not subscribe, whatever the you know joining. Yeah, pay for their thing. You can only use their emotes on their channel. I guess that's like to like the opposite. It's like they can't like, you know, spam their emotes on someone else's channel. You know what I mean? Cutman emote? Oh, you got me. I got you covered. Cutman in the kangaroo outfit in the bottom left with my stupid, uh, my starting soon page. Absolute. Zon's in my chat. My Twitch chat. Uh, he put the like a minute ago. You just realized all my tags? Yes, thank you. At least Twitch. No, wait, YouTube also lets you just put as many dumb tags as you want. <laughs> YouTube will let you put as many as you want. Do whatever you want. Man, I had a whole conversation with Zima and uh, Ron. Before I had hair thinning and uh, low effort, I just put bald and lazy. But they were like, I'm not bald. And I'm not lazy, but I'm like, fine. There you go. I think hair thinning and low effort is like the next level. Like right before becoming bald and lazy, it's like the evolution, the pre evolution. <laughs> is it working? Uh, do I dare click triangle for downloadable content? Oh, okay. Is that game available on the thing? PlayStation subscription or whatever? Okay. Yeah, my house is holding up okay. Uh, it didn't get hit very hard. Like, nothing really happened besides, like, a bunch of branches fell down on my uh, driveway. And they weren't even that big, so... Oh! Power was out for like a day and a half, um, basically two days. I would say, well, one night and one day. Uh, I have to say though, when the the day that you know the hurricane, the day that my power actually turned off and the hurricane actually hit, um, when I went outside because I had to take Alfie out, like before it came, it was this. It was like around seven o'clock, and it was kind of dark, but not really dark. It was this like really oppressive. Like, everything was this very oppressive, like, high contrast, dark gray color. It felt really ominous just standing out there. Yeah, it was crazy. I was like, what the fuck is this? It's like, <laughs> it was kind of, I've never seen that. It was like, kind of scary standing in there. Did I take back the land of the alligator tries to steal? No, they haven't come out of the pond yet. But the pond is like, the pond has like risen up like to like half my backyard because my hill like there's like my backyard is like on a hill so and then the pond is coming down most of the times they're like behind this like row of trees and like other shrubs and crud but it's risen up past the trees and it's like half of my backyard is covered in water so yeah the alligators can pretty much be in any of that area so i don't i don't even take alfie near there anymore Remember that California had that, like, blood red sky <laughs> during the fireworks? That looked ominous. Hmm. I, I don't know. I, I think seeing it in person or, like, being there in person is, like, a whole different thing than seeing pictures of it. It, it felt really, like, like, a lot of pressure was kind of squishing me when I was standing out there. Just go and shoot the alligators. <sighs> yeah, that's... I don't know about that. Um, give them a taste of freedom. Yeah, freedom from life. Uh, oh, hey, look. I can do the Undead Nightmare from here. Uh, but that's good to know. Uh, 
Uh, and the alligators, um, I've seen them a few times, but they aren't like, I don't think they come out ever. I don't know if they, like, how they survive for so long. If they're like, uh, whatever. If they're carnivores, I don't know how they're surviving back there in the pond. Unless they're just eating all the cats. But then again, there are like a hundred cats in our neighborhood. And I normally see the same few, so I don't think they're eating the cats. Maybe the ducks? There are plenty of ducks. Oh, but there's definitely this one duck you don't want to mess with, man. <laughs> like to pack the leader of the ducks? This, this guy is crazy. <laughs> He's like, um... I think it's a he. Maybe it's a she. Well, whatever it, uh, they are. This duck is like... Wiggles and waggles and like... Smacks all the other ducks around. <laughs> I see him in my backyard all the time. I don't know what it's doing. But I feel like it's just like asserting its dominance over the other ducks that are trying to just like bow their head at him. And they're just like trying to stay out of the way. I'm like, even if I was a gator, I'm like, I don't want to mess with that duck. Leave that duck alone. Ducks are cool. Yeah, what kind of freaking place do you, have you ever, like, swan? Okay, swans are pretty terrifying. Oh, there are these other birds. I don't know what the crud they are. They're like this, like, grayish black color and, like, with red beaks. They're like swans. They're like really long legs. Kind of like thin middle torso and like long beaks. They're in our neighborhood. They make these weird noises during the hurricane. Like, go, 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 go. And we're like, what the heck is that? He's <laughs> just like, go, 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 go. And I'm like, what? Storks? Yeah, they're probably storks. We got flamingos too. Flamingos are crazy. Any long legged bird? Probably crazy. Don't get near them. Yeah, actually, I think those are those are called storks. They made that's also what it was. When I was standing outside during that horrifying atmosphere, you just hear them making these crazy like like gutter noise. <laughs> it's like gutter rattling noise. It was weird. Emus, whatever they are, man. I'm afraid of pressing pause. I can't hear anything. But they've gained access to heaven. Gained access to heaven. I'm gonna turn on subtitles. But father, do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they live like animals. But they're happier now. Well, I got to talk to Smack about <laughs> if they do right there. Uh, every video of emus you see are hilarious, but those things will seriously mess you up. I saw a video of some guy like trying to like raise emus, and these things like bit the crud out of his hand. They're like digging into his arm, and he didn't care. And I'm like, that looks horrible. These emus are messed up. Like they will go after. Think so, Jenny. I better not spend more than one second picking up items off a dead body in this game. For governor, which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this should not be. <laughs> I don't want to be judgmental. Right after saying family. something mad, judgmental. A family without class. It's a tile on their feet. They can literally gut you if they kick you with them. Made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. <laughs> I mean, I think there were storks. Remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. I feel like familiar. The opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent 
and who do not kill each other, <laughs> and who let you worship in peace. <laughs> it, it's so I'm gonna go around killing everyone <laughs> in this game. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the decision meme? when you send this. And a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me. Oh. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. Armadillo. <laughs> <laughs> Just the... <laughs> Hold on, let me. His face at the end got me. <laughs> the other face. <laughs> Shoot, what's going on? The face on the end got me real good. Oh god, the frame rate. Um, maybe it's emulating what a frame rate actually was like on the PS3 era. I got my gun out. Oh, GTA, right? That's right. Oh, the frame—it's not great. Your move, my friend. Whoa, let's think about this. Oh. I put my gun away. Oh, I better put my gun away. Glad it wasn't just you. Yeah, that face got me pretty good. I'm gonna press pause. Hopefully, it doesn't skip. It doesn't do anything. Sometimes. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to gag you. They ain't my friends. We're pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. Call Jake to the horses. All right. Options. Golden Guns Southpaw. <laughs> Technically, I guess I'm a Southpaw. That means you're left handed, right? Yeah, 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 there we go. Although, I don't know who the. I guess I've. I've from the very beginning, I played with like right handed people control, so I'm, I'm not used to the other way around. I'm gonna go get dinner and you might come back later. Well, my EDF is working, so if you want to play later, I can. <laughs> what the hell is going on? What the heck is this? <laughs> What's happening? What's going on? What is he doing? <laughs> This guy's pretty funny. I ain't so sure about that. <laughs> What's going on? Come on, mount up, Mr. Marston. Well, there you go. He's got his footing. He's ready to go. He's drunk. Okay. Well, what happened? Why did everyone start screaming in here, running away? That was weird. Caused the ruckus and some guy who <laughs> falling over while getting drunk. Whoa! R1 to slow and stop your horse, alright. This game looks pretty good. It's a shame you'll never get a remaster. So is Fort Mercy you want to visit? That's right. Ain't taking nobody up to the fort in a long time. Strange place for a decent fella to want to visit, if you don't mind me saying. Who said I was a decent fella? It's been abandoned for years now. Folks say it was built during the Mexican War. What kind of soldiers around back then? Why'd they leave? Well, I ain't entirely sure. I, I heard they had to go up north. Oh, I hate that. Indian yeah, I don't think. I think any Maybe video game developer that does that is like, that's real scummy. Like, gold. buy this remaster you know to see gauge it. interest on the next one. So what are you doing up at the fort? I'm looking oh, for yeah. The Mega Man thing was absolutely garbage. Many folk around those parts these days. No 
what you do find about as sociable as an old three to back to you. <laughs> Surveys, man. What? I, mean, I didn't even know. I want to judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. Garada asked for a Xeno Saga's remaster. Oh. Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like thieves. People are know about the Damn, internet now. Girls ain't even yeah, people know about the internet now. Uh, that too. But that's also man, a factor. Ain't we all? All of it. Nintendo is... Monolith is helping, basically making Breath of the Wild. <clears throat> yeah. so it was uh, technically, Bandai Namco is, the, is the a publisher, right? So they would have ownership over it, so they'd have to be the ones to make it. That's right. The right? Oh, then they'd have to be the ones. Yeah, if they have the rights over the game. You ain't very talkative, are you? Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. Yeah, that'd be on my list off thing. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you better off not knowing. Yeah, Nintendo would have left them. I'll tell you, Mr. Marston, those coyotes eat better than I do. <laughs> Almost there, Mr. Marston, just over this hill. Did you see that dog just randomly die? <laughs> or coyote? Whoa now. Slow up. Listen, mister. This here's what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> like I randomly just started laughing for no reason. <laughs> um. Let's go. Giddy up, horsey. Giddy up. There we go. I'm the match it a few times. Yeah, feels all right. Bill Williamson, come out here right now. Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Don't Nobody make me needs kill to kill anyone, you. Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. Oh, was he a part of the gang from you only seemed Red Dead 2? To save yourself. Bill? Bill, I implore you think yeah. about this. <laughs> you implore me? I think so. <laughs> That's what this game is, right? You're going to, you have to hunt down like people from your old game. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things the one that's like, yeah, what's his, whatever his name is, I forget. Now I'm in charge. Them old, what are the, them no Pinkertons? And no more you. Dutch, Dutch, Dutch. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. And no one's gonna bring up Arthur. <laughs> he was only oh. like a one-time thing. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! <laughs> it's just say waste it right now, and then it's just like game over. <laughs> it's like the game's done. <laughs> he got shot dead.
I like her big pants. <laughs> it's very nice. It looks very comfy big pants. That government boy. <laughs> Alright. I got plenty to do after this too. So I'm feeling pretty good about like this weekend. Because it's like I wanna go through God of War. I also wanna go through Trials of Mana. Again. So it would seem. So how do you feel? Um not Trials of Mana anyway. I do. Stupid. Although I do think it would be pretty funny here. playing Charles Amano what what's her name as the main character. I was, the kid. I was doing something stupid. Well, well, God of War? Okay. I don't know. Maybe. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. Oh no! $15! Should've left me there to die. <laughs> yeah, I know it's a lot that more it? back then, but it's pretty funny. Why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. <laughs> Miss Bonnie McFarlane. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarlane. I don't know. Huh. Yeah, inflation well, sucks. I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old times' sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. Oh my rib. To be honest, if he's walking, even with that wound, that's crazy. I would be crying, like crying, pissing, and whining in my bed all day if I had a wound like that. <laughs> There's no way I'd get up. I could barely handle like falling down. <laughs> a shot. Can I not climb this? Aha, square. I figured it's about time I started paying back that fifteen. Whoops, my bad. Well, no time to waste. The horses are saddled up over here. I like the pacing of this way better than Red Dead Redemption 2, though. It's kind of like. There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good for nothing outlaws, such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. You hop. Maybe I can't hop right now because. Uh... Okay, let's see if you can still ride a horse. Yeah, I lost it. Oh, let's make a tour of the ranch so you can get your bearings. Oh snap! Ooh, check out these. Ooh, this horse knows how to jump. How do I fire my gun? Whoa, whoa! To your right is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. It's very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. Hardware, tobacco, something and something. The resolution is too low for me to read it. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but 
It certainly looks like a fine crowd. Oh, but I do have to I say, you've stolen more horses Red Dead broken. Redemption 2 now, you get had some of the idea? funniest, like, you auto-aim the camera and let the auto-run happen, and you're... You would randomly just fly off your horse and the camera will like follow you in like the funniest way as you're like just ragdolling everywhere. It was pretty oh shoot. Oh where are you going? Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. Yeah, that's a pretty good line. Come on, boys. I think I should I should still have some of it saved on my PS4. Not the check that's later. The barn over there. Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. And here we are, back at the house. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. <laughs> I remember this one mission where I had to like stop a thief, but I left my horse on the path the thief was supposed to run away on. Um. So the horse, it was, he just ran straight into my horse into this gigantic collision, man. It was like, he like flew into the sky and my horse got like, both the horses just like fell over and cried. It was hilarious. And I got very mad that he ran into my horse. How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Dang, he became much more polite after his uh bull crud he had to Mr. deal with. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. Well, he's out here, they don't know how to deal with bugs and lizards. Ready, Mr. Marston? Let's mount up and patrol the ranch. In hot human weather. Hello, mister. Ah, uh, do you know? What's my name again? Who's this guy's name? John Marston. I hope you know John Marston is a very good farmer. He's had plenty of experience in, in Red Dead Redemption 2 at the end. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone. This game, no, Red Dead Redemption 2 leads up to this game. Yeah. Now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. I really like the pacing of this game. It's like even if like it's like we're just doing like follow quests, it's not like God damn it, these rabbits are at it again. The story's on, just been going like snap snap snap. We just got shot up our old homie. Like a oh fudge. Hold on, I'm trying to find the dismount button here, lady. Oh god. I'ma find it in a second here, don't worry. I got you from up here. Lady, you ever see auto aim like this? It's beautiful. Much obliged for the help. That rabbit should be wild. What the heck do I get off my horse? <laughs> How do I get off my horse? We should keep moving. There's still a ways to go. Wait, how do I get off my horse? Crying, I found the body. Our cattle, the our wait, 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 wait! I can, I can. Uh, it ain't never easy living off the land skin these? Like no, I can't. Maybe you should move to a big city, become a lady of leisure. Yeah. One second, I'm coming. So about what I was saying earlier. No. Where can I? Did you hear me? Does dialogue get interrupted? 
And then you don't hear it anymore. Is that a coyote? Get those pests before they scare the livestock. Gotcha. The dead eye. I learned this one from my homie Arthur. God, I'm so good at this. You don't have any gates guarding the chicken? Why is it open? <laughs> Come on. Didn't you have closed that? You know, you can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. This is you, Mr. Marston. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, so am I just going to pay back my 15 bucks first before we're heading out to kill Bill? It really would have been cool, man. It would have been super cool. Maybe like a couple of months after Red Dead 2 if they remastered this. Or a year, you know. Because this is the sequel, technically. So I can be a good guy or a bad guy. Change outfits. Oh my god. Gentleman's attire? Ooh. What the fudge is this? Okay. Where I go now? The B on my screen? The B. Mr. Marston, how are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. <laughs> See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only will I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. When the fudge that John becomes so like well versed and polite. Well, I guess I, yeah, it'll bound to happen after the last game. <laughs> I'm no city man. Picking up after Arthur. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats. I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. Twice. 
I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. I don't even know what the other ending is like. Like, what's the point of even going after the money? <laughs> Alright, I'll show you how we ride around these parts. Come on, boy. Come on. It's crazy how everyone he came came into contact with didn't get that disease either. She's so fast. Let's go. How is she so fast? Oh, I see. You're not supposed to spam. You're supposed to like time for a while. Don't go easy on me. I don't need a speed boost at the very end. Horsey, where are you going? Horsey, move! Oh no, a boar! I thought I was gonna knock down my horse. Okay, well she beat me pretty good. I won't lie, she's got me pretty good here. Oh, I gotta stay on the road. My horse move faster. God. I got the speed. I think I got it. Oh, it's going too fast! Come on. Let's go. Okay, I'll be honest. She she has left me in the dust. She is in the horizon. There's no way I'm catching up there. I succumb, you win. You have proven your worst prowess. My horse is back out of stamina already. Go faster, horse, I need you to. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna speed again. How much time we got? Hey, back. What the heck? What did you randomly turn into the wall? I wasn't even- oh, I wasn't even holding the button! The horse decided I'm gonna run into the- Oh... Why is this race so long? Am I catching up there? I think I'm catching up there. Horsey, I think this is the final stretch. You need to go way faster. Call yourself a dangerous outlaw? Oh, wait! Whoa there. Okay, so the flag is the finish line. I gave up already thinking I lost, but now wait, there's one more. That was fun. Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit. I like how she's basically her dialogue is I'm making sure it so that it doesn't know whether she won or lost. Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. I probably would have gotten more faint if I won. I think I'll help out Bonnie a little more. This is Armadillo, USA. Hello, Mr. Marston. How are you? Good, Miss McFarland. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> take the driver's seat. Come on. Nice. Is that her way of going? How do I get on or on the other side? Uh huh. 
You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. Come on, Mr. Marston. I want to get to Armadillo before the stores close. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss. I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. Oh, gosh. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar Whoa. outlook. I wasn't even I looking. Really what was that? What did I hit just now? <laughs> I wasn't even I looking on the road. Say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. <laughs> <laughs> it's in a person. I feel like I have to look at too much at the. Yeah, there we go. It's hard to tell the road apart. I'm not that hard. And neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. Whoop, my bad. I think it's kind of funny I found you dying on the side of the road and now you're driving me into town. You have a strange sense of humor. Well, you must admit. It's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarland. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. <laughs> I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern uh, for us less I haven't done much of the like, deranged bunny really hunting. Bounty hunting. Bounty hunting. <laughs> I can assure you of that. Hey, what's up, Tattle? How's it going? Am I slow down again? Oh. Oh god. Oh god. We're on a crash collision. Uh oh. Uh oh. My bad. <laughs> it's knocked everyone off their horses. We're we made it. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan. She matched not, John Marston's vibe in her okay missions. Yeah, she's pretty cool. And Listen, John's being like right now super polite. You know, not weird or anything the whole time. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Gotta pay back my 15 bucks. That's like two weeks. Why are you shooting me? Why are you shooting? Why? What did I do? What's happening? <laughs> what happened? Why? What are you asking for, buddy? Why'd you shoot me? <laughs> oh no, he's still shooting me. Shot me first. It was self defense. <laughs> what happened? I call. I call BS. Why? Is it because I ran him over? What did I do to you? You're the one I shot, right? He's thinking no good. Mission failing. Hey, mister. I'm selling some good. Oh, do, I, do I need any of them? Apple for a buck? Isn't that a lot? Back in that time? A dollar for an apple? That's like current day. Inflation was freaking mad high back then, too, apparently. You bumped into him? Calls for a. Sh Just because I bump into him, he's going to start getting up in my grill? Sorry, I knocked you off your horse, I guess. Howdy. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take a stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. Good. Can I guess? Can I actually go kill that guy now? Okay. Oh, 
gun symbol in here. A uh, gunsmith. Bait? Volcanic pistol? I got no money. Thank you. I won't sell armaments to them thugs, whatever the profits may be. Remember to I'm a broke cowboy. But the M's over here. Oh, dog, can I pet it? I can I pet it. Boo! Boo! Boo, bad game. Bad game won't let me pet the dog. That's what I'm gonna put in my review. Even worse than a bad game. I ain't shooting a dog. Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, you. And what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did. Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. Spits everything out. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come on, what? You, you getting cute with me, boy? <laughs> What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson boys. <laughs> Everyone's just spitting one everywhere. <laughs> Marshall's a bad name. Gonna put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. Bosses? But he seems loyal. You want to get Robert out of here for a minute? Who? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. Wassist? And you? Oh, I didn't see enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go. <laughs> oh, hardy fucking whore. Dickhead. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or... Kill Bill Williamson. Do I have the option? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister. And I'm here, doing what I can. Why, what's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. A bunch of problems that I'm gonna go solve. Murdering homesteaders out in the back. So that you will help me. I got a bunch me. of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right. Tell you what. Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. <laughs> Let's head over to the saloon. Oh, I probably should have put... Hold on. Just so people know. I should probably put, like, first place...
Thor's playthrough. Uh, no spoilers. Just in case. If they can't read Ron, you can shoot their message. So who are we looking for? A bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walt. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than no, on the to make sure. these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your because uh, I think I watched the playthrough of it, not all of it, yeah, I it. and I don't remember anything about it. So I'd rather keep it that way for the whole time. Law enforcement. I do what I can, Mr. Marston. We ain't the government. We ain't the government. There's a dumb rat bastard now. Let's follow him. See what kind of hole he crawls into. Oh, I see dress like that. Calling your bird? Walton's the top screw. Oh snap! Damn, he's seen it. Come on, don't lose him. Look at my horse. Look at my horse. It's a beautiful, beautiful steed. Do not kill him, but okay. Gotcha. Tailing mission. If Walton's as bad as you say he is, why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Yeah, music's tight too. Is that right, Marshall? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walton's gang's been growing fast. Outlawing's easy money for easy work. Jola Springs, Gap Tooth Ridge. These boys get around. Walton's a start, but there's plenty more where Stay he came on from. the road. Is that my health in the bottom wall? On the right there? Did you really take some medicine? I'm assuming I can do that. How? <laughs> Looks like he's holed up at the old Pleasant's house. Let's hold up a minute and find a spot for our horses. Okay. I see plenty of cactuses around. This rock. There's one behind the crate. Take him down. You're about to go meet your maker, and I how do I, too happy with you. How do I get, get down? Oh, shoot. How do I get against this thing? Crazy what are you for? Don't do that. How do I get in cover? No, not that. No, get down. <laughs> how do I get in cover? How do I? That's fine, I'll just get back a little. Hit him with the freaking boom. What? How did I not kill you? Check this out, check this out. Boom. I'm almost low on I'm low on health though. Need to be careful. This is gonna be one hell of a massacre. Get to that crate! I got you covered! That boom behind the rock is yours, Marston! You ain't getting there, Walton. Okay, I'm very low now. South of, southeast of Mexico, I'll find the white horse. Now get to that rock. Is it like a really fast horse? Okay. I think I lose one. Ooh, nice. There's another one behind the outhouse, boy. I don't know how to get in the I don't I don't know how to get in the cover game. You never explained that to me. Um, you ain't that tough, Walton. No. You down myself, My horse! No! You no 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 give me back in cover! <laughs> oh it's Arlo, got it, got it. Ooh, nice. Auto wing. I'm a professional. How do I how do I loot? 
Oh, that was beautiful. Do you know how quick that was? That was like literally a second. You don't, you don't got time to spend 30 hours looting. You're a cowboy. They're shooting me. That's not the reload button. Hold on. Oh, snap, I can climb the house? Pretty athletic. Take him alive? Or do I take him alive? How do I take him out alive? With my fists. Punch him. <laughs> nice. Beat him up. Not a bad shot, Mr. Marston. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Maybe I could have just shot. Yeah, I could have just shot his leg, probably. <laughs> See how quickly I looted that body? See how my horse teleported in from the ether? Should I do a low honor run? Hmm. Renegade run? Satchel. Ah. Uh. Aha, uh -huh. my satchel. War horse? What's this? What? What did I just do? Info? Warhorse? What? Hmm. Okay. Aha! So you use this and I can fast travel. Oh. Convenient fast travel. <laughs> Isn't that nice? And the loading ain't so bad. What's the exclamation mark? Oh, it's the carrot. Like crying and gunshots everywhere. Hello, hello. It's Armadillo Seven Three One. What is it with these things? Hello. It's a new line. Hello, hello. Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. If it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. 
<laughs> have gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshal! Marshal! <coughs> Marshal! I'd just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller Twins and a couple of Mexicans. Are they up there right now? Well, it was uh -oh. a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's uh -oh. livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's going to hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. <laughs> All right, let's go. You ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. It'd be my pleasure. He's just a boy. Is this war horse? I think this is my war horse. How long have you been working for the government, Marston? Oh god, this thing is fast. <laughs> well, I got a telegram from some federal clowns in Blackwater that says otherwise. Are you some kind of vigilante? Just press the sprint button once, that thing like started taking off. Government, boy. I guess it's complicated. I came because it was made impossible for me not to. You sure are a tight lipped son of a bitch, mister. I guess I am. I ain't gonna dig this hole no deeper. Well, ain't you all proud and superior? Don't forget you need us more than we need you. Bill Williamson folded you up like an empty person last time, if I remember correctly. Simmer down, Jonah. Listen to your boss, Jonah. There's a good boy. Otherwise, I'll put a hole in your hillbilly head and watch your tiny brain drain out. I'll be honest with you, Marson. I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal. Neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouse city boy who's never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Nothing, I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash came in a wild land. Nearly there. Nearly there. Yeah. He cut off his dialogue. <laughs> Probably gonna see that happen a lot, huh? Everybody dismount. Follow me. Okie dokie. Let's go. I'm gonna abandon my war boys. horse. Be ready, boys. We're probably gonna be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on fire. Why are we going either? into the canyon, man? You watch any cowboy are. flick? We can take them alive, people at the good, bottom of the canyon get owned all the time. The Music to my ears, Marshal. I want to see a giant Indiana Jones boulder appear on the other side and just start like falling <laughs> down. Damn! Those bastards were waiting for us! Freaking dumb. How do I get in the cover? Uh -huh, really Aha, this rock with a good cover. Are you gonna shoot any of these rustlers, boy? I'm gonna go with you because screw them. Stop falling behind! We gotta push forward. I probably should have looted them, huh? Nice of you to give an old man a hand. Damn you! There's a couple of the rat bastards. I'm getting the hang of this. I I love how stupid like. How crazy the screen shakes and everything is when you go in like <laughs> dead eye. The deputies are making progress. This ain't nice. I know. That's a lot of money. Five dollars. I can pay back my hospital fee. Uh -oh. All right, let's move down and 
take those bastards in the camp. Hey, steady now. Don't leave yourself open. Let's go, Marston. We gotta keep moving. I'm giving you one last chance to put your hands in the air. Man, you're freaking fast for an old guy. Got a gun, on, like any explosion. fast I loot. Very nice. How long does it take to loot this chest? If I could get in front of the chest to loot it. There we go. It's really hard to see in this, like, definitely not 720p in this stream thing. Uh -huh, I see. There he is. I think this is auto aim. Good thing I got the, basically the best weapon in the game. I killed them. All right, cool. Am I okay? You're the hurricane hit bad down there, Canadian. Oh, that's cool. Uh, but no, I'm fine. I'm fine. The hurricane did not hit that hard to me. Uh, because luckily, I don't live too close to the shore. I know people that like live close to the shore got hit pretty hard. Uh, but my power was out for like two days, so and it just came back. Whoops. <laughs> my bad. Gather around, listen up. Let's try to sneak <laughs> up on down. Them. The closer we are, the less chance they have of making a run for it. Oh yeah, thanks for asking. Oh. oh. Do I need to be low? Is that like the sneaking position? No okay, I guess it doesn't matter. What the fuck was that? Hey, this music is tight. Cool. That was cool. I don't know how I did that. Shot him right in the freaking like up his chin. Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot. You. The volume might be low. Thank you so much. Thanks. 
I gotta check that every time. Well done, Mr. Marston. Well done. A little bit of an echo. Bob Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. You say that again. Well, one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. West Dickens. He's missing. Who? Oh. <laughs> Mr. West Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was doing town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. What? You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms. The online the poker game was awesome when this game came out. I am so glad to be serving <laughs> such a wise and respectable. What did you guys like? You Don't bet you with like it. fake money in the game? Actually, this game even when it came out, did it have like premium currency or anything like that? And that's probably why it was, I so many people say so many good things about it. It was just in game only. I have to unlock all these outfits. Oh, right. Waypoints. Uh, how do I open the map? There. Bonnie is right there. W? What is W? Nigel? Just go to Bonnie, he's right there. Oh, I can just fast travel there too. What? Why didn't that work? Hmm. I think that's not working. Oh, I cannot set up camp in this is a town. Okay, hold up. Or hideout. When this game came online, a lot of people mainly played death matches and shootouts. Well yeah, that's your typical stuff. I heard from a friend that he used to ride a donkey around and then always play like some like horde mode. I can just use my horse. It's hard to remember what it's like playing like an open world game where you can just call a horse that's really fast. <laughs> it can just take you wherever you want. Oh my god, this thing really is fast. Bonnie would have had no chance if I had this horse with me. Yeah, bad. it's just poker, but without, like, you know, the risk of losing real money. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna shoot some of these guards. Can I skin them? Take feather? I think a lot more of that from a bird. All right, he just wants one feather. Material. Let's make this quick. I better not see that animation every time. Better be a one time thing, hold up. Yeah. Oh. Well, I guess that's not as bad as having to see Arthur cut up the entire goddamn, like, animal, like, hide in, like, mad, in depth detail. What the 
hell is this thing? It's not a hawk. What is this? A vulture? Oh, yeah, there are plenty of these out here. Oh my god, this horse goes so fast! Okay. You could ride a bison too. We need to be a high enough level of rank. I imagine they're not very fast, but you can just like run people over with it. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here and build a life for yourself. I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See. I already have a life. Well, I had one, and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two, and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that, I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. <sighs> call me Bonnie. What? Are you okay there, Bonnie? Miss McFarland, I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now. Nah. I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Don't remember. Did he ever talk yeah, about his daughter? Country. Memories don't really fade. Bonnie, Bonnie really do Sims for John. I can imagine. Hey, is it just that she's Miss Bonnie? I guess that's Mrs. He never saw his homeland. I guess she's not married. To hear him talk about it. You'd imagine he only ever ate half. Yeah, Mrs. Means her, so she's not. And he hated the English for what they. But I mean, for Bonnie, she, she's like. Never met. John's just like an upstanding kind of guy. He hasn't like creeped on her or anything. He's just been polite the whole time, helped her out. Especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father doesn't go like <laughs> all the time. You know. <laughs> A real upstanding man to her, I'd say. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute and he was her, well, I don't, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. I, did, I, I forgot. I don't know if you ever mentioned his daughter in uh, Red Dead 2. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read. Taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great John's man daughter. It's about the first time he actually talks about it. Sure. And I've yeah, he said he had a daughter, but she died. And that's the life I left, or tried to leave. Uh, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Sounds like much hasn't changed. Thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. Got 50 bucks. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction. Mount my war horse. Right. Are you ready to learn how to herd some cows? This better not be nearly as bad as Twilight Princess. On, what are you doing, horse? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> doing a little dance there? Alright. I read that to Arthur finds a letter from a dying bro that he was in love with her. 
but died when Arthur tried looting like him. You. Dying bull? Who's her? Bonnie? Oh, hold up, hold up. I gotta hold the X button. I gotta get close enough to hold the X button with you. There we go. Oh, shoot. Move into position behind the herd. Herd the cows out of the pen. Wow, this is mad easy compared to Twilight Princess. the cows. Oh shoot, oh shoot. Hey, hey. We need to take them out to the pasture. There you go, cows. Move it that way. Let's steer the herd right on the go. left side of the well, freaking chorus already. Let's go. I have the pastor so far away from the farm. Oh god! Oh god! The war horse! He's going! He's going crazy! He's <laughs> at full speed! Oh, is that it? Did I make it? That one's not bad. Keep going, Mr. Mopson. Right. I gotta do the freaking huge herd too? Okay. Cow herder. I hope I don't have to do this again. I'll probably have to do it again. You're not bad with the herd. Ranching might be your true calling, Mr. Marston. Either that, or you were a cow in a past life. Thank you, Miss McFarland. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the ranch. Five bucks. Come on. I could have easily got that money if I just shot a man. The body wouldn't like that. Yeah, the man gave a dying letter to Arthur as he was dying. It explained how he was in love with Bonnie. Is Bonnie in Red Dead 2? No, it's probably just like a an Easter egg. Come back after 6 p.m. today? Why is the music amping up? What's going on over here? <laughs> okay, not weird. So I will go back to my home. My home. It's the greenhouse. Save the game. Oh, Looks like nighttime now. Can I help? Grand Chance Patrol. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing that.
How do I pass time? What's this? Why can't I go in? Aha. Uh -huh. No weapons allowed. Hey, you guys playing a game of poker? Oh snap, let me in on Don't see why not. Um, the person left of the small blind must post big blind. Okay, so you're just calling. Okay. Yeah, okay. Somebody's throwing dust. Huh, they're just explaining poker to you, basically. What the hell? I don't even know what that is. Look at my cards. I got money. seven. Okay, yeah, uh, and um, uh huh. Not a fact. I'll call. Think I'm gonna call. Easy there, cowboy. Let me see what's in the middle. Get the first three cards out. I call. Calling again. Four, four, queen. Ooh. Let's see what we can do with it then. This ain't my game. This ain't my game. She knew he was married. Well, I'll be. Or I could go all in, baby. I'm trying to bet. Going all in. All in for me. I'm out. Suckers. <laughs> Give me a real card now. Well, ain't that something? Don't go too hard. Don't go too hard. Raise it to ten. Raise it to ten. Don't get enough suspicious. I Shoot. I may regret this. I seen the bar dog. Water down the gin. Harley bears repeating, dude. Raise it to 20, raise it to 20, raise it. Seems like Ooh. you're way too soon. I'm gonna raise it again. 68? I'm not ready to get out yet. Now let's call, let's call. call. You're in trouble now. Raising, putting all in, baby. I fold. Ah, sucker. Well, lock me up and throw away the key. Yeah, I, I had that. Not to tell a law. Uh huh. Not a fact. Oh, you lost. What? What do you mean? What do you mean it's a split? I won! I got three fives! He only had two tens! I just ain't getting the cards. Is there something about this that I don't understand? How the fudge did he get any card money? That ain't the cards, it's that three fives, he had two tens. Where where is the other ten? I didn't see another ten on there. Gave my boss the ruins. Well, I'll be. Nah, screw this game. I'm out of here. <laughs> Time for a blowout. Taking my money and I'm leaving. Kiss a man. Nonsense. As long as you ain't no shark, we'd be grateful if you join us for a few hands. I had three fives. Two tens. Flabbergasted. I should have won that. I had that guy going too. Here's a real 
your store. Not one of those fancy Blackwater places. Can I talk to Bonnie now? Elegant suit it will allow you to cheat at poker. <laughs> now I can go see Bonnie. Well, hello, Mr. Marston. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarland. This is kind of weird, but all right, hello. Please. So... My daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. <laughs> Tough men. Sorry about that. Outlaws. <laughs> Smallpox, terrible winters, cholera. Right, that's what they still call them back then. Children I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiving sun. That whole herd of cattle just take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, you sir. You sure about that? When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace, and men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. You're always going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. And sneaking around and spying and secret missions. Right? It's preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Boy. Good. If this guy could only see what it's like well, today. We won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie. We got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> <laughs> he isn't even a city dweller. Well, I guess he was raised as a kid. You're gonna need this, Mr. Marston. Let's see if we can put that new lasso of yours to good use. That ranch hand said there's a pack of wild horses nearby. But why would I need any other horse other than war horse? Maybe he's only like mid middle tier. We need to get like really high tier horses. You sure have some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw well, the telegram pretty fast. Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret that sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches and steal oh, coin loud. off a dead man's eye. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy the ride? I know ride? we're only as free as they say we are. Power's like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. And there's few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarlane. It's a long stretch of silence. Look at the herd. There's no way I can miss if I put into a lot of them. Beautiful. Giving him too much rope to play with. 
What? They're like, oh, what the? Hold it, aim with L2 and then, yeah. Oh, hold L2, hold L2. Why you you're scaring them away, man? Oh! Ah! Ah! Come on! Doesn't matter which one I got. Just grab this one. What are you waiting for? What the? John, throw the dang rope! Come on, boy. Hey, there, I got one. Yeah, we gotta do this again, though. Come on, Come on. nearly got you. It's all right. Relax now. Nearly there. Look at the perfect balance I'm giving John over here. Steady. Come on. <laughs> Where are you going? Warhorse! Come back! Warhorse! Come here. <laughs> Warhorse is just running away from me. He's like, I don't want to be lassoed. I like your father. I'm glad. He's quite a character. You have a good life here. The life I want. For me and my family, I mean. We don't have a lot anymore. You have enough. It's one that gets so many folks in trouble. It'll sap your spirit and make you poor, but it's straight, and it's decent. There's no better night's sleep than after an honest day's work. It's no wonder you look so tired, then. <laughs> Some deck must be shy of Joker, Miss McFarland. Who'd have thought you'd be such a natural in Weston Broncos? That was fun. I think you could be a fine rancher one day, if you can bear to stop killing people for a living. Sure. I have not killed a single person yet. You know, outside the, the mission failed one does not count. So I have to follow. You never did tell me why you were never married. Aside from the snobbery, that is. You sure ask a lot. I'm just surprised, that's all. You must have been quite a catch. The fact that you're talking in the past says it all. No, that's not what I mean. You must have had some suitors, that's all I'm saying. Some, I suppose. Here and there. A ranch in the middle of Hennigan said ain't really the place to find a husband. Amos, he's a little, well, you know. Who? Where'd you get your airs and graces, Miss McFarland? From a couple of cheap governesses, Paul hired to save us from being savages. I'd like to talk about more than just cattle and chickens sometimes, that's all. And after my brother left, it was up to me to become the man of the ranch. He'd never admit it, but my pa's a lot frailer than he looks. You're worth two of any man I know, miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. 
ways. My wife is kind of like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? She's always been a woman in a man's world. You don't talk about her very much. It's kind of painful, but she's never far from my thoughts. Looks like the ranch hands up ahead. Not much is said about those two, huh? Right behind the herd. Let's drive them up the canyon where it narrows. We'll trap them there. Are we gonna get all of them? All right, no lasso required. is popping in. Stay with the horses. I'll give you a signal when we're ready for them. Right you are, miss. Slow it up now. Slow up. Easy. Okay. I missed a few, but that's fine, right? Whoa, whoa. Let's go. Whoa. Uh, All right, should be okay. Get out of here. Go the other way. Here we go. Slow down. The hurting thing yeah. sucks. I won't lie. Whoa there. Okay, cool. The hurting thing. Literally the entire herd ran away. Go. Don't worry, not I got war horse here, I'll catch up the thing in no time. Nice aim, John. No, he was trying to hit the horse. Where? Did it freaking juke me? Bonnie on this horse. Let's go. Come on, easy up there. Not nearly as fast as War look at Warhorse proving that he's better than this horse. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? What? Oh well, huh? <laughs> okay. For your help today, Mr. Marston. We got some fine horses. You know. Why don't you keep that stallion as your own, as a thank you from all of us? Thank you, ma'am. 
He's a fine animal. I say as soon as I and as soon as this cutscene ends, I get off this horse. Call War Horse. <laughs> You're free. Where are you going, War Horse? What is this? There we Wild fur flu? Beaver view. That's not a gun. I go back to Bonnie. Tempest looms. Am I war horse? Come on, come on, let's go. Hey, Get him in there. Come on, come on. Hey, miss. Hey, miss. I got most of the horses secure and the chicken. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know they're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So, what do you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're gonna die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Dang. Dang. Let's go. That sky don't look good. I'm starting to think somebody up there is conspiring against me. Are you a religious man? Not in any real sense. Sometimes I tell myself things happen for a reason. Like what brought me here was fate come a calling. But nobody made my path for me. We all need to look for answers somewhere. Some in big old books. Others in big old bottles of whiskey. Believing in some kind of divine purpose ain't gonna give me my wife and kid back. Past is who we are, Miss McFarland. There ain't no change in that. Faith is a luxury I can't afford. We have two herds out grazing in different pastures. We'll need to merge them and bring them all back. I think we can handle that. The cows get real ornery in bad weather. It's more work, but I'll show you how to deal with them. We're not gonna be able to hear each other in this rain. Just make sure you don't lose sight of me. So we just leave they just leave their horses out here in the middle of like the field pat like the pasture, but then it's like what if someone else just comes and takes them? Let's take them over to the other herd. We'll try to drive them all back to the ranch together. Come on, I can't do this all by yeah. myself in this weather. This is getting nasty. It's getting harder to see anything. Not for me, really. A dank cow, get back in there! Slow down! No stopping! Let's go! Come on! Move! Come on! Let's move here, my four-legged friend! Come on! No, you don't, buddy! I'm coming for you.
bless you. Oh shoot, there goes all the cow. What did I got my horse? <laughs> Wait! Okay, here we go. Don't worry, war horse is on the job. Should have gotten off my horse for whatever reason. Do something. For the I got it this time. I got it this time. Watch this. Warhorse, I need you to speed up, buddy. I know you're losing stamina, but we gotta stop this. Horse. Come on. You're a powerful horse, you. Come on. Where are you going? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! No 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 no! Oh no 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 Lost five of them. Good work. I thought we'd lose them all. Now let's round up those stragglers. Oh my god, now nah, we've got to <laughs> go get the stragglers. Are you gonna Ooh. help me with these stragglers? The weather's getting ugly. Come back! We need your help! What are you talking about? I'm doing the work. Doing the work. Towards the yellow. There we go. Now we got a good pace. I hope that rock doesn't split anyone up. Ah! I hate that rock. Am I the only capable herder over here?
Oh boy, they're almost there yet. Come on, Bonnie. I've, I did most of the work there. Come on. Spend your hard earned dollars. I guess I gotta head to this W now. What's that noise? Would you would you not go near the power supply? Would you get away from that, please? <laughs> Alfie, come on. Boss. There you are. Blending into the background there. Hold on, Alfie, let me get to this W real quick though. Mescalero? down there with war horse the horse to take fall damage the horse does not want to go down there well horse you're gonna to learn today how to freaking we're gonna skyrim this today buddy you better get down there oh snap uh oh <laughs> you okay war horse Just press up. Strangers? Oh snap, I can just call for imminent war horses! How do I do side quests in this game? There's a question mark over there. We gonna go down another hill. But I can just use the freaking certificate to just get infinite war horses. Come on. Get down there. I'm gonna use you to tank that fall. Beautiful. Alright, well, there's a question mark over here. Rest up at your camp spell? That'd well, be my pleasure. Man needs a break from this desiccated land. Thank you, mister. 
Say, what's that stick you got there? Oh. Y'all ain't never seen a dowsing rod before, mister? Never seen a man summon the water up from the bare earth? Uh, mister, uh... Marston. Ah. Well, now I've gotten into a quest where I hope I don't have to use a dowsing rod to find water in the middle of this desert. What's wrong with that lake over there? Oh, there ain't nothing wrong with Lake Don Julio. Nothing wrong with it, but we lack the fancy irrigation equipment you folks have back east. So, man needs a wellspring on his proper tie to ranch here. Proper tie. Makes sense. Yeah. Why, you know, just last week, I was over at Old Pleasant's house. Now, I think I may have found something, but... Old coot that owns a place threatened to call the law down on me, so... People act funny around strange men with sticks. They sure do. Damn fools. Bet you he don't even know how much water's running underneath his proper tie. Proper tie. You want me to tell him? <laughs> you know what? You ain't that stupid, mister. And I can tell. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go get the old man to sell us his proper top for a small pittance? Proper tie. Then I can find the source of the water. Build us a proper well spray. Maybe I will. Well, all right then. <laughs> <laughs> Get some proper tie in here. <laughs> Come on. Started, continued, and completed at any time. Go fight a bear in the woods with my knife? Do I have a knife? Let's see what I do. If I find a bear, I'll try to find it with my knife. I survived the cane? Oh, the hurricane. Yeah, I survived the hurricane. <laughs> They're in the woods? I don't know where the woods are right now. Yeah, the worst part about surviving the hurricane was living two days without power. I lost some hair during it. I lose some hair during every, <laughs> during any time. <laughs> Someone over here looks dead. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. You need help? Glad you're here twitching. Yeah, thanks. Mister, you alive? I'm glad I'm not like Good still out without power. I said no, I'm not okay. Do I well, let me tell you, in Florida, without power, it's very hot. Pretty good for without AC. Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. Well, actually, see, because of the hurricane, it wasn't that hot, I guess. <laughs> Come on, mister. Now you know how I felt Come this on. summer. I feel like that every day, though. For you in summer, it's like... Me every day. Hurry, sir. I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Just focus. You understand my pain? Heat? Yeah. You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. Yeah, Zana does not know Florida heat. I'm finished. I don't think Zana could actually survive in Florida straight, heat. Heat sucks. Doctor, Especially I just know. the humid heat's the worst. What is this? Oh shoot, I gotta get him. I got a time limit. What is your name, friend? John Morrison. Oh, good God! Out of the frying pan into the fire. Excuse How me. How many outlaws can a man encounter in one day? You must have me mistaken with somebody <laughs> else, friend. The baller. We have Cali heat. I know who you are. We're sure traveling fast around here. Oh, there are people shooting at me! Oh no, the horse died! Hold on, I got this under control, buddy, don't worry. Oh, one handed with a carbine? I'm a beast. I'm trying! You expect to drive and one handed shoot these guys with a carbine at the same time? 
What the hell happened to you? Bandits! Hoodlums! Hoodlums! Scoundrels robbed me blind and left me to die! I can see that. Once again, a victim of my own success. <laughs> they see a man in a well-cut suit and this happens. Do you know who they were? My local no calzone idea. dealer? Not the kind of man who had... You have me worried. You're getting me worried now. I have to check. Because the last time... The last time I found a really good calzone place, they closed down. Hold on. Okay, we're good. My, cal my favorite calzone place is still open. I, had, I was a little scared there. <laughs> it's still open. We're, 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 I'm good. Enemies. You do know. Oh wait. I guess reverse, so reverse. Still they take. Please, there's no time to lose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm working we live on in it. an uncivilized and graceless world, friend. Our maker has a funny sense of humor sometimes. Oh my God. No, at least I met you. Where are they all coming from? Good question. I might, he might be dead. I don't think I, I can make it back in time. But I knew this wasn't my time. You should call them and congratulate them for making it through the hurricane? Yeah, I'll order a calzone to celebrate them making it through the hurricane. I gotta say though, um, the last live on stream. The last time there was a hurricane that was pretty big and knocked out powers, um, the next day, everyone was going to their local, like, McDonald's or Taco Bell or, you know, fast food place. And it was crazy. Today, I saw a line that was so far out of a McDonald's that it was on the road. And we had to, like, wait. Like, everyone was trying to get into McDonald's, so I had to go, like, all the way around. It was ridiculous. Are you crying like a little baby? This is it. You're gonna make it. People really want a McDonald. Uh, where the devil are we? I mean, I can understand. Uh, last night, me and my sister, uh, we we actually found like a Mediterranean food place that was still open, and we were like, hot food sounds really good right now. So someone in like 12 a.m. we gave him a good tip. Came and drove in like this dark. There's no lights on outside, so he had to like. Drive here and figure out where we were. Put the food on the doorstep with no light, and he left it there. And it was really nice, just like rice, potatoes, and stuff like seasoned well. It was really good, and it was nice and hot. Uh, I guess it technically, yeah, it's just a folded over pizza essentially. Um, no, calzones—they're not exactly folded over pizzas. Uh, instead of them putting sauce, what? Uh, at least here, they don't put any sauce inside the calzone. It's usually just cheese and ricotta inside the calzone. And then you dip it in, like, uh, tomato sauce. Marinara sauce, I mean. Americans in shambles just because they have to stay away from McDonald's for one day, huh? Um, yeah. Probably, uh, I would say it's more the hot food. Since they probably, a lot of people still don't have, uh, working electricity. I'm lucky. Where does it W? Come back after 7 a.m. today. I'm a terrible mother. <laughs> Hello? They took my boy. My boy. What? Who did? He's missing. He's only a youngster. My boy is missing. Where? Who took him? Them the sauce is on the outside, yeah. So you take it and cut it in pieces and you dip it in the sauce. Can't the police force help you? Why would you dip a pizza in a cup? I mean, you could just pour the sauce on it and just, you know, do that. If I find him, Sounds I'm exhausting. Gonna... It's worth it. I locked out a... I locked out a sheriff? Hello? 
Sheriff, he closed down right before I talked to him. It's like talk to the lady. Uh, I guess I'll do a side quest in the meantime. Water and honesty. Poker time. We did play like while well, the power is out, we just played Uno all day. And let me tell you, we made some bull crud plays during the time. That game is whack. But then again, we also found out we've been playing by like rules that are not official. I didn't realize. Um, but apparently you can't put, like, multiple draw twos, and you can't pass a draw two if you put, like, a draw two on a draw two. <laughs> That's meant for you. Uh, and you... I forget what other, like, how to properly play Uno, but it's, like... We, we basically, we just weren't... We are playing, like, some crazy, like... Crazy Uno that... I feel like is more normal than normal Uno. That's how I've always played it with friends and stuff. Someone puts down a plus four and it hits you, you can put down a plus four if you have one to pass to the next person. What am I looking for out here? I found a shoe. Uh, my friend showed me a card game called Exploding Kittens. Say what? It's pretty fun. Not not I can't assume much from the name, you know. Exploding kid. How do I zoom out? Is he just dead? I thought the journal will help me. Oh, I guess I'll just. Okay. Or better yet, I can. Uh... Can't. It's not as bad as it sounds. Well, it's a shame we can't play it unless you have like a website we can all just go to to play it on our phones or whatever. Armadillo. Oh, I will say though, we stocked up pretty hard for the hurricane. Um, I have a ton of crackers. How did you know? Cheez Its, uh, popcorn. It's probably too complicated. Ah, oh, all right then. Uh, just a ton of crud we have to finish. There, now I can go talk to the sheriff. Ah! Since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits. We're getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway, we got a posse wow. gathering up near Ridgewood. We should go kill them. All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir.
Okay. <laughs> hey, wait up. Needs to take one big sip before we go. Okay, Alfie's being a little, a little annoying. Uh, let me go take her out. I'll take a quick break. I'll be right back.
Hey, I'm back. But let me tell you, you can't read, Ron. It says hair thinning. Hair thinning. Indian shiitake. That's right. The result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science. BGC. BGC, the ball of gamer community. No more I'm a proud member. I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. They What's wrong with putting FTC in my tags? I can't understand a goddamn word he's I'm technically a part of it now. Technically. I went to an event. And I'm going to another one. And I will win. You don't want to be... What's wrong with being associated with the FTC? And to be honest, well, I'll be honest, I went to the anime FTC too, so I'm like... But it was really nice! <laughs> I talked to people, they were all really nice. He went to locals, he, I'm basically dying. <laughs> Ain't no survivors here, Marshal. Of course I don't want to be associated with the entirety of the FTC. You know how many like yeah, mongrels there are on Twitter? <laughs> Who just like discourse? Everybody was so busy killing people they went and dropped their gun. I mean, he is. He's like a huge part of it. Even if he says he isn't. We'll head for Ridgewood Farm. See if they know anything. Well, Max is like a huge pillar for the FTC. Like, the big, he's like the biggest FTC person. I don't think there's anyone who can, like, top that. The only other person that's close is Ares. And he's the, like, he doesn't even care about that until a Tekken 8 comes out. At least that's how I see it. it. Depends on good Tekken 8 is. Any number of people, especially now the word well, I mean, Street Fighter 6 is coming out, and then then it's going to be like, then it's going to be hard to say you're like the FGC, because it's, at that point, I feel like it's going to be so broad. The Street Fighter 6 is going to bring in so many people. Who the heck is that lady? What was that? Like... What? You need help, lady? pretty good the smash community of the FTC hey don't even get started come on they're not part of the no they're not a part of the FTC I can pretty confidently say that I don't even think they want it like most smash players will probably say they're not a part of the FTC Piranha plant mains rise up. Oh, okay. I do have kind of a serious story. Well, not well. It's kind of serious. You know, you know that tweet that Punk put out about like him losing because that guy smelled. That what happened to that guy is makes me not want to be associated with the FTC. Apparently, the people harassed him the whole event. I'm like, that's messed up. That's messed up. Like, yeah, he made the thing. He never said anyone's name, but everyone knew probably knew who it was. But apparently, every he spent the entire weekend getting harassed by people because of that. And I'm like, Jesus. <laughs> That's the kind of stuff that doesn't want me to get associated. Because I'm just like, all right, you can, you made, you made fun of him, right? You'll probably go back to his room, put on deodorant or whatever, and then everything will be good. I could just be guilty here. I was only in like I was in like the DNF area the whole time, and everyone there was super cool. They were so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. I 
a, a little a little horny for striker a little like over horny for striker if you ask me but they were still cool yeah they were all over 18 i think they all looked older than me but then again when you think about it you gotta you gotta be uh, if you're you're by the time you're like 16 you're probably gonna be like that I uh, bet there was like three people. There was way more people for Blaze Blue. Oh man, did I already tell you about the freaking money match? There was a money match for Blaze Blue. These two guys were just like fighting each other. One of them was a Ragna, and the other one was a. Uh... I forgot who their first character was, but they swapped the Izanami. It was bullcrud. It was pretty hype. <laughs> <We're... laughs> that was when my protect my professional shiitake uh, mode came out. I was smack talking the Ragna pretty hard. Um, <laughs> I don't know. What is that lady doing there? I don't know how to play Rogan anymore. But I can tell you, some of the stuff he did, I'm like, what are you doing? Like, I'm like, even I know not to do that. Like, even, and he got away with one thing that was super big and everyone was like, shocked. I play, yeah, I know I play Ragna. But I don't know him at like the higher levels because he was doing some fancy like Roman cancel, Roman cancel, God, guilty it really has like, really rapid cancel, uh, like air combos and crud, right? Like where he hits you with like an instant overhead and then he hit like hits you, does the rapid cancel, air dashes forward and does all his bull crud. Some character loyalist I am. I you freaking know I'm tired of playing Ragna. Not really. Well, no, not really. Because then I always think of like all the dumb bull crud I can do with him and not have to think. So he's pretty cool in that regards. Um, but no, what happened was there is this very there's a combo he did. <laughs> it, was a, it was an overdrive combo, right? It, I even shouted during the combo. He tried to do an astral, right? I even shouted, "That doesn't work! What are you doing?" Right? And while the astral was loading up, and the Izanami player didn't tech it. He didn't tech it. And we all freaked out. Because it was like, you could see the giant blue. Where it says in this combo number. Where he could have just teched it. And screwed him over after he freaking whiffed the astral. And he was like, yeah, I, I thought it would hit. I He, <laughs> he thought it would hit. You know, like, how would you think it would hit if I shouted? It, that doesn't work. At the top of my lungs. I couldn't believe it. I put $3 on that match on that Ragna. And he lost. <laughs> Even after he got the Astro. <laughs> Even after he got the Astro combo. I should not have hit. Uh, there was no Hakumans that I saw. Actually yeah. I didn't see any Hakumans. Then again I didn't watch the top 8 for Blizzard. So maybe there was some in the tournament. Break that door now. Get your guns ready. I got my gun ready. At the top of my lung. He won in my heart. He definitely did. If After he hit that astral command, astral combo that wasn't even a real combo. <laughs> I was like, apparently this guy is way higher level than I am. Because I wish I could hit astrals like that. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Hmm. This is some Fallout Raider bullcrud. Sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> All right, boys. We need to get into that house right now. Now the bandits start shooting at us. I'm gonna John Marston do his flips and crying. That's right, these guys can't handle me, my quick scoping.
I could not believe it. I lost three bucks. I pour three bucks. I'll never get them back. Hey, I'm trying to get some money over here, man. Oh, that's not a bad guy. Thank you. I was convinced I was dead. Now relax. Shoot a hole in your head. You're gonna be all right. Head for the shed in the back as soon as it looks clear. They did unspeakable. Ow, my legs. <laughs> yeah, that would that fall would hurt a normal person. Fellas. Let's check up on the farmers. Someone might as well have this. I'm gonna get out of here. Huh. There? Oh. Oops. <laughs> I broke a window just by running past it. like a freaking FTC prize pool. <laughs> That's a prize from a blaze blue right there. <laughs> Alright, let's find those bastards. Come on. Ron. Ron does Ron plays every character. Did you forget? Do you think they might be <laughs> in the first <laughs> Ron plays every character. We obviously Maybe. forgot. All this sure looks like their handiwork. Make sense if they cut this road. Come on, Marshall. He plays every character in every fighting game. You get his he gets his money's worth. Just say he's the currency in a complicated transaction. What the hell you talking about? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Why does that involve you? We used to run in a gang together. It was once like family. If this is how you treat your family, I'd hate to see what you do to your enemies. That was a lifetime ago. Bear in mind, he's left me for dead the last two times I've seen him. Wait, who's that up there? I the di dialogue needs to be you faster. Keeps cutting off. Now, John. Ooh. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now. Get yourself down here, Bill. No, you ain't man enough to. You gonna go play me. Siege chat later? All right, see you later, son. Why did no, I just I stop screaming? You, um. But I will. Well, if you wanted to have a rundown of what happened, besides the hurricane, I uh, went to see Otaku over the weekend in the last week. So I was gone for that. I think I was gone for like a week. I streamed like once on Monday when I got back for like an hour. For trial, uh, Trials of... Uh, what is that game called? Trails in the sky. Trails in the sky. Trials. Oh, I mix up with trails of mana. We'll make our stand here. Stay in cover. Watch your head. Winchester repeater. What is this? I'm gonna get this. Stay in cover. Oh, I'm a beast. Oh, I. <laughs> John Marsh. What is... Oh no! I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Get back in there. Get back in there. We're good. We're good. Still playing Fallout? You can blind fire for extra. What? Blind fire for extra. I don't think I can blind fire from this range. This resolution makes it really. Oh, there you are. Hard to see. This is the end of the line for you, boy. You bastards killed my innocent people. There we go. 
now. Heads up. Four of them coming down the hill. Still playing. Uh, I finished Fallout 4, so I think I'm just done with Fallout for a while. Oh, shoot. I, my plans are iffy right now. Uh, I'm not sure whether I'm going to do God of War. Oh, wait. No, I think I decided that I was going to do, um, since October is coming up, I was hoping I could get through the Red Dead campaign and then do the Undead Nightmare. And then I would do the Silent Hill games. Uh, at least one to three and maybe four if I can find it. And then I'll do Dead Space. You know, since Callisto Protocol is coming out. And I've actually never played the Dead Space games. Besides, a little bit of three. And it was um, probably not the best... <laughs> probably not the best first uh, experience of that game. What are we playing on? Uh, this is on the PS3 emulated thingamajigger from the PlayStation Live service. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is gonna help us get the bill. Ain't you, Norman? If I don't stop, I can beat Red Dead One in a day and a half. Well, I think I'm gonna have to stop. I'll probably beat it if it's a day and a half. I can probably beat it. I don't know if I can beat it by Sunday, but I'll probably beat it, you know, sometime next week. And that's in October. People have taken notice of my honorable action. Cool. Why do you guys have any money? You look like you got money. That fancy coat. Aha, I was right. Uh, this button? No. That button. Force pill. What is this? Okay. Let's bridge with a farm. Bronze Ranch. The Bonnie ass? I mean, well, might as well just travel there. <clears throat> oh, there is a Bonnie quest. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Marston. He's yawning. Did you see my father anywhere? No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they found nothing. Well, come on, let's go look for him. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I'm sure it's nothing, but I worry about the old fool. feeling about this. It's not like him to be away for so long. Don't worry. We'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? Your father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarland. He's built like an oak. You're probably right, but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. Don't you have any brothers or sisters? Man, it really McFarland? sucks that this I game is not getting brothers, remastered. But five of them died. Either not re sickness Remastered? Well, just like a, you know, he left for updated port. never came back. Must be getting on for ten years ago now. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. He should be here, helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life That makes no sense. Well, it makes no sense that they have to, they base it off the sales of a Grand Theft Auto, a different, like, franchise entirely. I fear a little for his soul. He switched his saddle for a tie, and that's fine. I just never met and I think it sold well. It's that P bad PR. My cousin bought Who's that over there? it. Well, my cousin bought it. So he probably got ripped off. Daddy! What happened? Nothing nice. Russ 
officers, I guess. Maybe the Baller twins, that bunch. Now, you head back to the ranch right now and fetch your wagon. Yes, sir. Marson, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. What about you? I don't know. I was talking about <laughs> him, the character. What happened yeah. to those poor men? And their horses were dead, too. I think we should get back there as soon as we can. Who could have done something like that? Your boss seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. Ah. Uh. Those damn rustlers. I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself. I don't think that's a good idea. And you're no better. How many men have you killed? Do you really want to Elton know? Aim. It's disgusting. You never met the men I killed. I heard the way you talk about that gang yeah. you're in. Like there was some twisted morality to what you did. We all have a code. Only some of us don't realize. The with or the hold code. X to sprint. Like RE4. The reluctant murderer. Yeah. The noble criminal. Score to reload. There's nothing more depressing than a man who's found a way to think the bad into good. You're up. Look, Mr. Marston. The barn's what? On fire. This escalated pretty quickly. The barn's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> you, this guy looks like he's barely putting an effort in the open anyway. I have the awnings for this thing. Alright, alright. John, Mar nah, John Marston's a hero here. I don't want to fall off. It's take it easy. Alright, I'll snap. Look at this platforming. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that! I'm okay. <laughs> He's okay. <laughs> that looks really funny though. Who freaking. Oh, the guy's a savage. Wow, she passed out immediately? That's crazy. That must be some thick smoke, man. Go. No! Don't worry, homie. I'm gonna ride you out of here. Whoops. I'm not bad at this, I swear. <laughs> no mind me as I pose over here by this spot. You sure know how to handle yourself. Thanks, Marston. Yes, John, thanks. You well, you saved the ranch. I saved three horses. I've got chores to attend to. Hold on a second over there. Sincerely, John. Thank you. Well, did all I could, Miss McFarland. Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're going to be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. <laughs> it's good. That, like, discussion's getting a little too dicey my for nowadays. Owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business for people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Alfie, hey! Alfie! No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you, don't. you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's doing. I swear, Alfie, you trying to get every single thing you can to eat. Don't look 
look so happy. You're doing a bad thing, just. Alfie was just trying to get some stupid, like, uh, piece of cloth that was sticking off the bottom of the window. And it's a nasty piece of cloth because they leave it there so that it doesn't let any, like, bugs or crud in. Um, where's my war horse? Well, anyways, Alfie smells very nice today. Good news. Her dental appointment is on Tuesday. She'll be there all day, so I'll probably just do something in the meantime during that. I am nearing a gang hideout. new weapons? Where is this hideout? Now tell me where the hideout is? Oh well. Yeah. Oh, for crying out loud. I'm really glad this game has fast travel. Come on. Oh, the frame rate. You shall not give false testimony except for profit. And I can tell you with no uncertainty that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you good day, sir. <laughs> I like how you can still hear him laughing at the same exact volume after door closes. Um, well, Mr. Mr. West Dickens, Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin, at your service. At my service. At everyone's service, at the service of science, of knowledge, of life. Uh, <laughs> how are your wounds? Hmm? Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then, they would be. Mm -hmm. Would be. I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just two dollars an ounce, I could live forever. Oh, but for you, sir. I do a bulk discount rate of one ninety-five an ounce, <laughs> as long as you buy a hundred ounces or more. That's a lot <laughs> of more. immortality. Uh, give it up, old man. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. Boy. Give it up, old man. <laughs> um, listen, Marston, I'm broke, but this stuff is good. It works. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come along, and let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain while we go. Okay. <laughs> Bulk shipment of a hundred ounces or more. The sick and needy await us. Oh, the life of a wandering saver of souls. You're making me drive. And I about you, John Marston. Good week in the week. Gullible out of their hard earned money. They are the road. They're going to destroy the merchandise. My dear boy, it is you who is gullible, if I may be so bold, for heeding such ill informed scuttle. You're as full of wind as a horse with the collar. I have been blessed with the gift of language, and for that I will not. I'm try. basically he's saying I'm good at lying. Elixirs speak for themselves. My thousands of happy customers attest to that. If my tonic is such a sham, 
How do you explain the fine battle in which you find me? Last time you saw me, I was knocking at death's door. You should thank the doctor for that. I reckon you were acting it up worse than it was. Act I can, John. A more convincing Othello there has never He didn't even deny it. He's like, yeah, I'm a very good actor. A fair Iago or Cassio mate. I don't like the sound of this. Showmanship, John. The flourish. The bow. We are operating in a competitive marketplace. Our product must stand out. And how does this involve me? We're going to use your God-given talents to our advantage. I'm really starting to regret I'll drop this. I'll you off at the outskirts of Ridgewood. That way, it won't look like we came together. Once I'm set up, saunter nonchalantly into the crowd that is sure to be forming. Eventually, I will call you up to try my talent. After extolling the virtues, I will have you perform a few feats of wonder to amaze and impress the king. Such as? Oh, nothing out of the ordinary for a man in your line of work, I assure you. Best you alight here, dear boy, so no one sees us arriving together. Well, we scam. See you shortly, and remember, showmanship. This stupid. Where's my horse? Oh, horse! Get over here. Where... Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> that guy could get out of the way. Touched him, man. These guys are too frail. Come on, they can't just handle a horse running at full speed. Just a little nudge from a horse running at full speed. Don't run into anyone. I'm not trying to fail this mission right now. Hardworking souls of Chola Springs, gather round, gather round. Do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, lumbago, chronic sciatic, uh, uh, neurologic, or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article that cures headaches, neuralgia, uh, earache, toothaches. Backache, swelling, sprains, sore chests, swelling of the throats, contracted cords and muscles, anxieties and ravaged nerves, stiff joints. Look at these guys, they're like, whoa. I can't believe it. And it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. <laughs> but can you prove it, old man? Oh, I'm sure there's some customer here who could prove the qualities of its by Take a drink right now. You, sir, come up here. Step right up. <laughs> That's the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, pay close attention. This poor, wretched volunteer... I'm doing the W, whatever this guy's mission is. No. You have to, you have to tell me where the stranger is. Be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you say. Well, doubt no longer. Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science, and today science will be vindicated. Your eyesight is greatly improved, is that not so, friend? If you say so. That's right, it is. You heard him. What a good sport you are, sir. Now, gaze over yonder at that porch. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging there. Go ahead, friend. Yeah. Shoot that skull and demonstrate the Not life insurance. He needs freaking medical insurance. 
Health insurance, yeah. Where the fudge is it? Oh. Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Anybody can make that shot. This man is a fraud. If your eyes so damn sharp, why don't you try shooting my hat out of the air? My friends, our test case has been challenged. Why don't I just shoot you? A gentleman's hat out of the sky above our heads. You can fool Eastman, but you ain't fooling me. Right. Let's just see how sharp you is with a moving target. Here it comes! You're more crooked than a snake! Whoops. <laughs> I thought I was going to R3 again to shoot. Do not write him off yet. He is still adjusting to the powerful tonic. <laughs> well, you want to try that again, sharpshooter? Come on, then. Get ready. He's about to throw it. You ready to get embarrassed again? Have you ever seen such an eye? Behold Did that elixir actually give me powers? Like it upgraded my dead eye? What? You think you can put a hole in a man's hat and just walk away? Do you? They don't work like that. Come on! Are you a man or not? A challenge of battle has been offered to our volunteer. Prepare for a display of Herculean bronze. <laughs> I'm putting you down. <laughs> Melee combat is not very good. There it is! Skeptics and dissenters, irrefutable poop! Do not let this Fair enough. Yeah, I would rather just use Dead Eye, even if there is melee combat. Look, he's over there. Go get him. Watch out! He's got a gun. Who the hell do you think you are? You ain't leaving here alive. Oh, hey, marvelous shot, dear boy. The kind of deadly accuracy that can only be afforded by the West Dickens Elixir. Come that was a pretty good mission. I got the all oh, powerful dead eye. <laughs> he's like, instead of getting medical help for his hand, he's like, hey, let me get one of these bottles, actually. <laughs> Chasing after cattle or murderers. Not the likes of you, mister. Don't be like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to say my goodbyes. Head on back to the real world. Uh, 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 wait, sir. <laughs> I've been thinking about your predicament. And uh, I think I may have an idea. I've been thinking I could be your cunning Odysseus. Beware of the Greeks bearing gifts, sir. Mm -hmm. Williamson had better beware. We will make them into Trojans. I don't rightly get you. I want you to go and see my old friend, Seth. Uh, you can come across as a little curious, but I'm sure you two will get on. Uh, he's uh, most often found at Coote's Chapel. He's very devout. Why see him? Because between him and me, we can get those gates to open for you, and you can walk right in, just like in Homer's great Trojan yarn! <laughs> what gates is he talking about? What the heck is this guy talking about? Otherwise, freaking John can make any sense of it. Alright, Ron, um... Where is a strange jaw? Strange jaw? Oh, hey, what do you look at that? It's right there. Found it, found it, found it. Found the strange jaw. Oh yeah, did you get a chance to look at that game by Koi Tecmo? Oh, this is a lady! 
What's up? Hello. Hello there. Howdy, Is this a stranger you're talking about? What are you doing out here? Um, I'm thinking. Oh, great. Have I seen you before? Oh, uh, yes, I think so. You mean a lady? Yeah. On the train from Blackwater, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, you were talking with the preacher. Yes, sir, I was. Oh, she was on the train. I don't know if it's so safe out here, miss. Oh, Jenny. You can call me Jenny. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, I'm safe because I, I have faith. So uh, faith can move mountains. That's the whole point. <laughs> You're trying to move a mountain? Oh, no. Uh, I can't do anything. But with faith... Can achieve great things. I know that. I know it. <laughs> you want me to take you back into town, ma'am? You seem kind of unwell. Oh, uh, That's a nice way of saying she's crazy. Out here. I see things purely. The world is so beautiful. Oh, I remember her. I was coming by on the mission earlier. I saw her and I kicked her and found the mission. <laughs> I'll see you later then. Adios. <laughs> you want some medicine? Miss Jenny. Miss Jenny. Don't look like the Almighty's much inclined to help you out here. I was kind of worried about you, so I brought you some medicine. You Lord, I knew you'd save me. Excuse me? You see, it was only through his will that you were ordered to save me. <laughs> Tell me, <coughs> were there angels in your vision? Jenny, uh, can I take you back into town? Lord, praise you, Savior. I knew you'd save me. <coughs> Just take the medicine. Will you come with me? Oh, I'm fine here, mister. I'm in heaven. <laughs> okay. That's it? Adios, then. Maybe we'll see her again later. Oh, yeah. Check for more strangers. Modern honesty. Um... I don't see any other strangers available right now. No, there's this one stranger asking to get water for him like we're gonna do that quest. Or like dowsing rod bull crud. That guy was in the rush going somewhere. Wait, what's that? Where are you guys up to? What's up? Griffin was the one who really sold out Red Harlow's parents. The Mexicans roasted them alive. I'm bored. Oh, there. 
Pleasant's house. Friend, I didn't know anyone lived out here. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Now you can't rob the place now, can you? Now get! Friendly old bastard, ain't you? I don't need me no friends, friend. We all need friends, old timer. We die alone, but we live among men. You know, I was interested in moving out this way with my family. Would you be willing to sell me a parcel of land? We wouldn't even have to speak or nothing. Land's too dry for farming. Bandits run all the cattle off. Why you want this land? I guess I just like the scenery. Well, I don't know. Maybe for $200 I could give you the deed to this land, find myself a place up in Blackwater. Although I never could stand the people down there. No, sir. Take it or leave it. Okay, I'll take it. Here's the 200. Here you go, then, partner. Good luck out here. There seems to be really, there seems to be no reason I should be bad. I only get benefits of being good, and the rabbit just ran into my house. All right, the rabbit can claim that land for his own. Do I have, like pass time for the next part of the quest to start or something? Hmm, maybe. Man, some of these guys look like they're in a huge rush in the background. Hanging Bonnie McFarlane. Right, something to do with that government boy. We'll talk to him. Find out what he knows. Fucking is. Where is she, Marston? <laughs> Who? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum. Where's Bonnie? I don't know. I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? She hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. You know, I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child. Now, Drew, nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall. Mr. Marshall. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Who the hell's that? Hey, buddy! <laughs> Gotta be your next fucking mayor. Even better! Good day, Mr. McFarland. Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarland wants to see his bunny back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarland! It's a nice girl you got there. Get down from there. You know... Part of me's got to thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. Who? I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do. Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Old government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is the land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back. The four 15 friends of mine take out all their anger and their loneliness on her. Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself. You boys have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! Yeah! What do we do? We do as he says. You and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarland, I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Please do. <laughs> I 
I like how he slowly sits down on the chair. I'll teach you some respect for the law. Why do they want Deke? Who's Deke? Hurry up, boy. Let's go. Quick as you can, deputy. Make sure he's tied on good. Stay with me, Marston. I won't let anything happen to her, sir. Come on, let's ride hard to Tumbleweed. Let's go! See, this is what happens when the Federals interfere in our affairs. Are you happy now? No, I ain't happy at all. And I already told you, I ain't with the government. Now you say that, John, but the only thing I know for sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as the King of Diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization to the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and tax. I agree Darn with you. taxes. Wolves and cheap clothing, all of them. Rob you, then make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. People around here have been fooled into feeling protected when they're worse off than they were before. Fellas I know don't care about people. All they care about is lining their pockets. Why is this sorry son of a bitch so important to them? Norman Deke, Williamson, right hand man. In other words, a glorified errand you boy. Wait, Marshal. I'll be back for you. Bill Standards have slipped. We already filled you with lead once. You up with Deke's bastard. the kind of man who's mean enough to be second in command, but too cowardly and stupid to ever be a leader. Don't ever use that line near your deputy. You know, for his sake, they'd best not have laid a finger on Miss McFarland. What is this place we're headed? Tumbleweed? A lonely, godforsaken place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed. And that was that. Pretty soon, everybody had up and left. Now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Scum like Deke here. Oh, popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. I just hope you're not taking advantage of the McFarlands, Marston. They saved my life. Gave me food and bed when they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I can ever repay. That's just they've been through a lot. Well, they're both vulnerable in different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. Oh, I know you helped. Just like you helped me. But you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson and the past. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubt. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business neither. How is this mess supposed to turn out? Sending an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. This is a long there have to be rules, ride. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules, but they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyway, just to spite me. If I punish him, he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. And look at Deke here. Man has worked hard at civilization. Your boy steps out of line, you whack him. He does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal, and I respect what you're trying to do. But from what I've seen since I've arrived here, the law ain't really working. Criminals are like weed, Marston. Quick as you stomp one out, another one sprouts up in its place. It's the nature of places. You know that as well as I do. The problem with laws is everybody ain't the same. And why should a bunch of rich university boys in the East what? Oh, the dialogue got cut off. You myself, I swear. Yeah, yeah, shut up, man. You messed up the dialogue. John Marson was about to impart some wisdom to us. Yeah. It seems like a trap. Not a trap. Exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Fair my ass. Then, 
Besides, Norm here is going to be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. Marston, lead Deke into town. Make sure you keep a gun on that son of a bitch. Come on, let's get going. I'm walking, goddammit. Don't make me stick a bullet in you. All right, I'm moving. Come on, move it out. Move it. You get yours, you Why son you of a bitch. So damn long. What are you waiting for? Untie me, fellas. Where's Bonnie? What the fudge is this? What's the point of even doing the deal? Just to kill us? Oh, screw that. I'm just freaking going in. The rabbit got in the way. Okay, this is a bad idea. Where is she, you bastard? Follow me. <laughs> oh, that was a bad idea. Running in, not such a great idea. Also, since I keep getting my buttons mixed up. Where's Bonnie, you bastard? Jesus, did you hear that? She is like screaming her guts out. Shoot the rope? No. Yeah, cause I gotta be the one to do it every single saver. She's cool. You know, after that, she's like, yeah, I'm good. Oh, I almost just died by being choked to death. But yeah. Do gotta say, though, the voice actor going in on the screen. Bonnie's the voice actor is like going hard on those like like screams that she was like about to be freaking like hanged Let's talk up some cash here. I'm broke. See no strange jaws. <laughs> I 
where is he's an armadillo I had to use a horse a war horse Get me out of here and I can make a camp. Hey, I can hit your horse here. Hello, sir. Mister. She's gone. Who's gone? Who is? My wife. She's gone. She went out picking mushrooms in the hills. They're hanging rock and they got her. The stories are true. The heck are you talking about? <laughs> what the police do about it? <laughs> oh, about as much as you'd expect. Made me fill out a form. Beryl ain't strong, but she's a good girl. I'll see what I can do. Way closer to Armadillo when I looked at the map. What the heck? Oh, there he is. And a stranger. We got. Everything all right, madam? It's Miss. Oh. Oh, let me look at you. My gentleman caller, you remind me of my Peter. Have you seen him? I don't think so. Where is that man? We'll be late for the ceremony. What is this? He must still What's the stranger you wanted me to look for, Ron? Like, what is their a name or whatever? Musicians. He's such a fine man. Must be making things right for me, as usual. Oh, okay. I gotta get going, ma'am. I'm sure your Peter will be just fine. Some of these Please people are crazy, Ron. At least some of these strangers are you possibly go out of their minds. Me? This was meant to be my perfect day. <laughs> Please, sir. Something must have happened. I can't bear it. <laughs> so you want me to go find your Peter so you can have a perfect day? Yes. Please, sir. I'll see what I can do. Oh. Heck is this? Grave robber? Excuse me, are you Seth? Who are you? I'm a friend of Mr. Wes Dickens. My name is Marston. John Marston. Goodbye, John Marston. It's been a great pleasure. Man, I need your help, you don't look Seth. too good there, buddy. We need your help. Lips look like they've been burnt off. Let me be frank for one second, partner. 
I hated people. It was people who got me in this mess in the first place. What mess? <laughs> Look at me. Look, scrambling around. Look for maps, half insane. Are you looking for treasure? Six months, my hair falling out, my mind's going. What happened? <laughs> what happened? My partner. Doesn't wash in so six months, hair is pulling out. I never would have done that to him. Never. Look at me. Who did this to you? My partner. My boy, my man. Moses Ford. I don't have the facility to tell you what I would have done for that man and what I would do to him now. Why? Because he stole half my goddamn map. And what map's that then? The map, partner. The map that tells me where it is. Where what is, friend? I ain't telling you that. I ain't. <laughs> don't make me tell, partner. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. Is some golem rip off? Where's this Moses now? Golem? He's at Benedict Point. The law got him for exhuming. Some people, they feel differently. Not Moses. Him and me are the same. The self same. Come on, Seth. Let's go see Moses. Get you your map back. Then maybe you'll help me. All right, partner. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Horses are over here. Yeah, I can see that. So what's your story, Seth? I mean, I guess we heard most of it. Love, digging up graves and looting from the dead. Ha, hypocrites! The whole damn lot of you! Are you saying it's better to steal from the living? They're corpses. They don't care none. These people have been laid to rest. You don't know nothing. I talk to them long after they've been forgotten by every other fella. I tell them it's all right to be scared and alone. I embrace them when they're stinking and rough. I met some sick <laughs> bastards in my time, Seth. But you, you're special. Folk is cold and heartless all their lives. To me, they gets warmer when they're actually cold and heartless. Surely that makes sense to even you. Not exactly, it don't. Are we really living anyway? Do you exist outside my mind? Maybe we're both having the same dream and when we wake up, we'll die. I certainly seem to be in some kind of nightmare. <laughs> All right, yeah, everyone's pretty much crazy. Or, like Seth, going through some sort of existential nightmare. What'd you say? I, I didn't say nothing. I just heard you say something. <laughs> You're a crazy man. You should get that head looked at. Seth, I need someone who can get a wagon inside Fort Mercer. I was told you could help me, but I'm not sure you even know what day it is. I don't. I can't even tell you what year it is. I knew this was a waste of time. So, you want to go after Bill Williamson, do you? You know Bill? Oh, yes. I met Williamson and Deke and all them boys. Sometimes they call me on when they get some special job needs doing. I got a reputation as a man who do things most other fellers won't. Now, that I can believe. I reckon you can get in there, no bother. Assuming you help me find this map, that is. John Marston's going through a lot of trouble to just get inside this floor. When once he sticks his head out, I can just dead eye him. Pop! Dead. What's so important about this map? Nothing much. Just unimaginable riches and such like. A spark of hope that lit a rage and fire I can't put out. I thought as much. Another treasure hunter losing everything in the search for nothing. Oh, I lost it all, partner. My wife. My children, my business, good riddance to them all. I don't eat, I don't sleep, I don't wash, and I don't care. How do you I not I can smell eat? You from here. It used to be about the money, but now, I don't know who I am no more. I see myself, but it's like I'm looking at somebody else. Only it's me, you know? Maybe it's time you moved on. No way I can stop now. It's taking me over. <laughs> There's no difference between night and day.
I'm I'm surprised how far gone he is. Let's stop here a moment and come up with a plan. You want to come all the way here first and then come up with a plan? There's a couple of deputies keeping guard outside. Can you distract him so I can sneak in for a quick parlay with that son of a bitch? I'm sure I can think of something. Away from the shack and out of sight, somewhere out past that hill. Yeah, I mean, you watch the old anime. We're talking about the Sonic cartoon. This is one god awful assignment. I know this place is dead. I have nothing to do. Oh, that Sonic X, you mean? On them horses, mister. Get away from them horses. Yeah, god, they started shooting me real fast, man. Uh, and Sonic X, what about it? Why was she aging for the government? That's just how it... That she was. Come on, come on. Oh, she just was? It, didn't, it wasn't a real reason for it. Was she an agent? She like di reported directly to the president. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe she was like a triple agent, but she didn't care about the president. She just wanted to get jewels. I never watched. I never like really watched Sonic X that much. I watched like the first few episodes and then just stopped caring. Because it's like Sonic got reverse isekai into the real world. Yeah. We deal with this now, mister. Good job getting rid of them clowns. Now keep an eye out in case they come back. I just killed them. Moses? Oh, Moses! You got a visitor! Oh my god, Seth! They arrested me! It weren't my fault! Ah! Get the hell away from me! <laughs> get that slippery bastard! Just ran when his hands up like, ah, get away from me! What's gotta do with you? Hog time! Damn you. Hog time! Why are you doing this? Carry the victim. You just wait till I get loose, mister. Seth did sell his own mother. What's a hawk type person on the horse? Think you are, mister? I like how I just hog tied this person without question and just brought him back to this guy. Did you think I would find you, Moses? Moses, you son of a bitch! Where's my damn map? Damn you, sir! Damn you, sir! You've always been a twisty little freak! I ain't telling you shit! Ah, then I'm gonna cut you ah, up ah, piece by piece. <laughs> Till you find your tongue. Friend, this man's ah, gone crazy ah, in the sun. Ah, I suggest you take my advice and start talking. Shut up, Marston. I want to cut into a bona fide man's ah, flesh. Ah, Ain't never ah, cut into a live ah, one before. <laughs> uh, uh, odd fellow's rest. It, it, it's an odd fellow's rest. Uh, get away from me once and for all. Well, ain't that a damn shame. I was starting to enjoy myself. I think you gone pissed yourself, Moses. 
Those deputies went and <laughs> on your head. <laughs> Best we clear it now. Don't need the law on our backs. I don't have no oh. money, but I got me a pardon letter. Here, take it. You earned oh. it for help me with the Moses. Uh. Come on. We can pay it off in the telegraph office. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Hurry up. I need to go find that man. Telegraph office? I can just go to one of these and be like, hey, sorry about breaking the law. Here's some money. Last night a drunken rustler told me. Will this clear my name? Master, I hope you stay out of trouble now. I'll see you soon. I'll see you, Otaku. Uh, it was great. Mister, thanks for your help. It was great. I did not expect to actually have that much fun. I thought I would have like kind of a rough time because I'm not like good at talking to people but um I just got lucky I guess and I met people who were really like friendly and talkative what are you, what are you doing LP? get off me um Alfie's over here grabbing my chair and crud Didn't I, didn't I just take you like okay I guess it's been like it's been like only like two hours Alfie really something you know they can't wait like half an hour more um but now see you talk it was really nice um I got apparently the 25th place on I don't know how far into 25th place but it was like if you look at like I think it's event hubs, they say, say like like a row of like seven people or something were in twenty fifth place. Uh, I was there, so I don't know. That was pretty crazy that I actually made it out of pools. And uh, I was talking to uh, darn, I'm really bad with his name. Diaphone. Yeah, that was his name. Uh, I was talking to Diaphone, and he was saying that apparently it got me nervous because he said my bracket was stacked because um. Sonic Soul was in there. Um, Yuri, Uri, Uri was in there. And I think someone named Houdini. Yeah, Houdini. He was a Swift Master. I'm so amazed that I beat him. I beat him in winners, and then I lost to Sonic Soul, and I beat him in losers to get out of pools. I also beat Yuri, I mean Yuri, Uri, who's a really good Kunuichi player, and I was like... I was over the moon, just getting out of pools. You should have been there and make everyone run these striker hands. There are apparently a ton of, there are like five strikers. I think in like top 16. But yeah, striker's pretty good. Um, but yeah, I met a bunch of people. Uh, played a bunch of DNF. That was probably the best part, playing so many matches of DNF consistently without having to stop. Uh, I played someone named... Alpha's gonna disturb me the whole time. I played... I didn't get a chance to play Sonic Soul. Uh, I know, like, I wanted to play him. Like, I just never found the time. Or Lost Soul. But I did play... There is, like, a few Japanese... You wanna go to your room, Alfie? I played... There are some Japanese players there. Uh, one of them was a ranger, and the other one was a uh, Dragonite. I played the Dragonite. I think his name was Pixiku? Pixiku? Something like that? Oh. Alfie is really starting to annoy. <laughs> like, God dang it, Alfie, shut up. Give me like a minute here. Um, But yeah, I'd recommend if you can go to any, like, any major, I'd recommend you going. Uh... And I guess, like, if you're good at talking to people, then it's, like, it's, like, the, one of the greatest experiences ever. And, and you're good at talking to people, and you like fighting games. You need those two things. <laughs> if you really like fighting games and talking to people, then you're gonna probably meet people and talk to them about how much you hate something that everyone else hates, and how much you like something that everyone else likes. You don't feel very shy? Yeah, that's good. Ruining my desks. You want me to come here? Come here. 
Jesus. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Well, no, yeah, it was it was really fun. Hey, hey. Oh, but I guess like the one there was one. I wouldn't say it's like a completely bad thing, but the feeling of the the annoyance I felt with myself when I lost, because I just feel like I did I played so well in pools, and then when I got into the bracket, my first match was Kizzy. Um, he was really good. He just beat me with like really solid fundamentals, but I was playing like an idiot. And I just like remember I was, like that night when I got back, I was like mad tired. It was only ten, but I was really tired because I was stupid and I entered like five games, so I was up until like seven. Um. I just got back to my room and all I could think about was that match and all the mistakes I made all night. And it was like, ah, uh, it sucked. That sucked, but at least it lit a fire under my behind and it makes me want to just get like super good. And I'm going to go to Frosty Fostings and I'm going to win. Simple as that. Simple as that. I'm not going to lose the Kizzy. Shut up, Rowan. I'm not losing the Kizzy again. At least in DNF. You can probably beat me up in Guilty Gear all you want. No, Alfie, the forbidden, you know, Alfie's a demon. This little dog right here knows how to turn off my PC. I'll be right back. I don't know why she's bugging me. I'll be right back.
I'm back. Thank you. It's back in game. What was I doing? I'm just getting up to speed, I was talking about CEO Taku, and I was gonna talk to the stranger, yes. <clears throat> now the man wants to talk. My, my, take a look at you. Will you take a look at you? You look like you've seen trouble, mister. Enough for a hundred men. Trouble has a way of finding me, mister. Do I like the sound of that? Do I ever like the sound of that? Trouble with a capital T. That's just capital. Whatever you say. Cold, tough, but with a heart of gold. The cowboy sings his lonely song like, like a dog whose bone is made of wood. <laughs> Excuse me? Nothing. I, I was just writing my next piece. I've been sent out here to provide a little frontier joie de vivre for the ladies back east. I don't understand a word you're saying, mister. <laughs> my mom felt the same way. And now she wrote me out of her will, and there's no hope for any of us. Wow. <laughs> wrote okay. him out of Jimmy her Saint, will. <laughs> at your disposal. But uh, please don't dispose of me just yet. <laughs> what are you doing out here, Jimmy? Capturing the spirit of the West for a monthly back east. You know, I'm uh, sending them my oh so witty and oh so pertinent missives and gaining myself a little prize in the bargain. So it's action I'm after and action I'm gonna find too. <laughs> Wild men, cheap women, you know, guns, that sort of thing. <laughs> well, you have fun. Fun? I'm going to have the time of my life, sport. I tell you, mister, the time of my little old life. <laughs> okay. You're definitely right about these strangers having some weird... Or weird... Weird, that's all I can say about them. What are you waiting for? Climb aboard! I did not mean to do that. I'm sorry. Wait, come back. I went up. Did game. Witness, please. Hey, witness, here. Give me. I'll give you ten bucks. You didn't see anything. I thought the triangle button meant that I could <laughs> talk to him. I'm gonna go off in the distance somewhere and set up a camp. Come on. Flat ground. Like right here. There we go. Granted, if you're planning on going to a major, I would say you should probably practice more than I did. I guess I practiced a lot when I got there, but that's not exactly, like, the best idea. Oh shoot. Oh shoot, the frame rate. So you know, I don't take requests, mister. The heck are you? Looking for a man. Name's Peter. Why am I looking for a man named Peter? Married today. Seen him around? Who? Peter, is what she said. You ain't after no Pete Turner, are you? For all I know, where can I find him? 
Well, my memory escapes me when not properly stimulated. Well, let's see if we can refresh it. Five dollars will do. Or you could run a little errand for me. What do you need done? It's my wife. She packed her things this morning and left. <laughs> the dumb wench is still at the freight station waiting for the stagecoach. If you could convince her to take me back. Her name's Rose. I guess I'll go have a talk with her. I'd rather give you the five bucks, man. Then why the heck do you want her back? I'll go convince your goddamn wife. Warhorse, let's let's go run this stupid menial task. Well, she's right there. Excuse me, miss. Er, Rose. What the fudge is Herbert Moon? What's going on here? Miss, please. If only. You know what? Tell that bastard I ain't going back. Not this time. Not even at gunpoint. You sign an oath, miss. For better or worse. The way I see it, you should give him one last chance. Stop bothering me, you dumb cowpoke, or I'll call the marshal. <laughs> Guess I'm paying the five bucks. If they wouldn't arrest me for it, I'd court that crazy thing. Hogtie or threaten her? Well, I like hog tying better. What the f heck is going on? I'm sorry, pal. I stuck. I can't drop the victim. <laughs> what is this? Aha! What the freaking what the? Okay. Um, let me see if I can, like, hog tire back over here, right? No, I cannot. Um, That was a bad deed. That was a good deed. I killed a guy who stabbed someone to death. Let's talk about this lady. Whoa. Right. Let me see if I can get her onto the ground. I'm gonna kick her. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? She glitched. Where did she go? Oh my god. This woman is glued to the ground. How do I get her out of here? <laughs> what do I do? Oh, I forgot about this. I'm gonna go back in here and I'll just pay the man. Why does everyone stop playing the music? 
Let me. Maybe I could, um. Maybe I do kill myself. Or I can do that? Oh, I see. Um. No easy way to fast travel out of here. Um. Wait, where's there is this there's a the stage coach. Alright, so maybe if I reload the area, it'll fix it. I can take you all over. I can go a little faster. Where to, sir? Where to farms. These are expensive, man. Take me to Ridwood Farm. Feel free to go to sleep in there, sir. Well, this is the only chance I'm going to get for rest. I don't know what just happened. Um, Hopefully if I go back, she won't be like glitched, but uh, I don't know about this game. I might just have to pay the five bucks. Come back between 5 a.m. and 10 p.m. Oh, come on, game. As a South Armadillo again. War horse, we're camping now. Get, get over here. Where are you going? What are you doing? Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> wait, can I sleep here? Rank for five freaking. Oh, wait, man. That's not my horse. That's my horse. Go. Can't believe I just wasted eight bucks on this fast travel. Alright, so here's the plan. Let me drag her off that platform. There we go. Now I'm carrying. So all the horses got stolen? Man, what the heck is going on in this town? Can't go like five seconds without something bad happening. Look out, mister. Coming through, coming through. Truth is, Pete Turner's been an armadillo for near on twenty years now. I like how it's just like, all right. It's instant cut to yep. Like she just teleported to the inventory and it's just done. Quest complete. I reckon you'll find him at odd fellow's rest. Yeah. That's where he'd be, I guess. My bad. And do I have to stop every crime or otherwise my my no top my fame goes down? Come on. Oh, here somewhere.
I'm sure there's a lot of setup work that I have to do just to get into side, like, one guy's four. First breaking jobs. Mr. Marston, how are you, sir? I'm all right. I met up with your friend, Seth. Oh, <laughs> Seth of the Dead. <laughs> yes, <laughs> interesting fellow. <laughs> you don't meet many men these days with the moral fortitude to cut straight to the chase like that, do you? <laughs> Thankfully not, Mr. West Dickens. Yes, uh, contemporary society is remarkably harsh on professional exhumers. But did you know that in ancient Egypt, you guys are all crazy. Valued more highly than literature? I believe Seth comes from that school of thought. <laughs> How very interesting. Look, you thought any more about our plans? Ah, your plan, dear boy. Your plan. I am merely the help, uh, not mercifully the arbiter of wisdom. What you are, dear boy, is the man whose life I've saved twice now. A man who sells lies and deceit to unwitting people. A man who, if he doesn't help me, I won't think twice about putting a bullet through his skull. Feeding to the vultures myself. Uh, you see, Mr. Marston, you have the exterior of a violent man, but the soul of an angel, and that is what I think I cherish most about you. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, <clears throat> but before we can attend to your particular problems, um... Oh, we need some extra lubricant to oil the machine. I should just shoot him. And uh, this being America, <clears throat> that lubricant with which we concern ourselves <clears throat> is money. Money? <clears throat> what are you talking about? Oh, we need weapons, armor plate for the wagon, extra hands, <clears throat> and. <clears throat> I need some danger money. So, let's sell some more of these cures. Sell cures? Around here? Do you want to see me lynched? <laughs> no. The sport of kings. Racing, my friend. The sport of kings. A noble activity. Without I'm surprised John isn't dropping that freaking bottle. Kind of activity. Where a lying, cheating, degenerate like myself can prosper. Come. At least you know you're a lighting, lying, cheating degenerate. As we drive. Now, sir, to get to reach. Cool, I get to ride shock and then I can get to ride. You have dialogue? What the? <laughs> nice freaking job, homie. You just ran that guy over. <laughs> I like how Warhorse is just keeping up with me. Technically, I guess, yeah, we only did rich, rich, steal from rich places. Don't talk about things you don't understand. Dear, oh dear, simmer down, my boy. You need to start appreciating your friends more. Folks around here don't see you as any different from Bill Williamson. I didn't think I'd have to huckster snake oil and dig up the dead, that's all. Take it from me, John. Collaboration is the key to success. The game will not let me I shoot him. Help you. Come on now, John. We haven't got time for games. I also just skip the destination. Sounds like they're done talking.
the heck is this? Here we are, Dom. Got to preach. Do I have to raise? <laughs> You gotta be kidding. Drivers! Y'all know the rules! But for you newcomers, this here's a fair race! Keep to your manners and let the faster cart pass! So now that's been said, y'all can get to running each other off the road like always! Alright now, counting the three! Ready! Set! Go! Are we gonna get ahead of them? Get ahead of everyone, man. Bonk! It's a good thing I'm such a good horse rider. Oh no. Not off-road though. Keep an eye on that bottom left. Oh snap. Oh look at this horse drifting! Back on the road. That's a bridge. Always going the right way. Oh, they both lead the same way. Okay. He's still down for some reason. Not the downhill. Oh, there's the finish line. I'm getting way too cold for comfort. Nice. Hell of a race, mister. I'll take care of this cart for Mr. West Dickens. Come on, John. I suggest we be a patient easy treat. Right. Best remove ourselves from stage before somebody decides they want their money back. Fine by me. Wasn't that fantastic? The cheers of the crowd, the thunder of the wheels. I should have probably listened to the plan. I have no idea why we <laughs> had to do the race. Oh, come on, John. Even a cold-hearted misanthrope like you must have found that just the tiniest bit exhilarating. Not, the Not really. They take the racing very seriously in these parts, and your participation was not entirely pre-approved. That was clear. Ah, sport for heartache. <laughs> the guilty pleasures of mankind since the dawn of time. I'd get away from the men we just swindled before you start waxing too lyrical. Yes, yes, of course. Oh, we're right there. Much shorter travel time than before. Whoa, now 
well done, sir. Well done. Having you as a ringer has netted us a fine profit. <laughs> we seem to be wasting time, old man. Oh, patience, my friend. The Trojan horse cannot run before it can walk, if you'll forgive the metaphor. Next, we need to procure some grand and overwhelming firepower. And for that, you need to contact an old friend of mine. How many old friends do you Irish. have? Irish. Yes, uh, he's an interesting kind of fellow. Um, he usually can be found in uh, Armadillo or some other town around here on some Bacchanalian rebel or such. <laughs> Great. An alcoholic arms dealer. What could be better? <laughs> okay. Where did he leave me? Three bucks, that's it? I ain't gonna make a living off of this. Right now I got another another letter I need to go to. <laughs> uh, I was hoping I could at least kill Bill today, but... I think I'll have to call it there. I'm getting hungry. Oh, hold on, let me save just to be sure. Ooh, yeah. Today in particular, I'm feeling like, no, I'm not getting hell zone. Today in particular, I'm feeling like eating Maggie. Maggie? I guess that no people, that to other people, that sounds like a name, but it's like, like an actual person name, but it's, um, it's like a brand of Indian noodles. And I do probably the weirdest thing with them. I pour a bunch of cheese on it, like shredded cheese. And then I dump like uh sriracha sauce on. But I make it look pretty, I guess. Like in a pattern, I I put like dots of sriracha on the cheese. So it looks like a pile of cheese with the uh noodles underneath it. And then like sriracha sauce like dots everywhere. So it looks pretty. Yeah, uh, I'm the only one who does that. I don't think anyone... I don't know how I got to the point where I did, like, I'm trying to think back, like, when did I start just putting cheese and then sriracha sauce on my night? I'm like, I don't remember for what reason I tried it and liked it and how I kept doing it, but yeah. I like having spicy Indian noodles with, uh... With like Monterey Jack, Monterey and Colby Jack uh, cheese shredded on top, and then sriracha, uh, sriracha sauce on top of that. It's pretty funny. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go eat that. While John Marston over here has a campfire in the middle of the rain. <laughs> That's where I'll leave. Anyways, thanks everyone for coming by. I'll see you guys later.